my top five picks for better characters to be the real Mandarin mastermind. Number five, Justin Hammer. I thought Hammer was really funny, and he clearly has an axe to grind with Stark. Why not bring him back? Number four, Howard Stark. It would have been a decent Star Wars moment to find the big bad is really his dad, kept alive by the super soldier serum, or something. Number three, Obadiah Stane. This was pretty much his whole plot in Iron Man 1, just on a grander scale. And if this is a trilogy, they should reference the original movie. And of course, they never recovered his body. Number two, Agent Coulson. Wait, this is a weird one. But the running theory as to how Coulson is alive is that he's the robot named Vision, created by the Avengers villain Ultron. Since Ultron is going to be the big bad for Avengers 2, wouldn't Vision be a cool villain during the single character movies? Yeah, and he can go good later on. I know it wouldn't work now because of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV series, but it might have worked for the movie. And the number one pick for the Mandarin Mastermind? Ho Yensen! Again, going back to the original movie, Tony left Jensen dead in a cave full of terrorists. What if he wasn't dead? What if he joined up with the bad guys? What if he even found technological alien rings and he thought they could bring his family back? But of course, he goes evil in the process. You could have Tony spend the rest of the movie trying to get his friend back from the brink of insanity. And those are my top five picks for better masterminds of the Mandarin plot. Of course, this all assumes they were going to go with the actor Mandarin plotline. I think they could have just had Terrorist Mandarin be the main villain, but that's a whole other topic. I'm Mr. Divery, and that's One Geek's Opinion. Say it one more time. If I say it one more time, if I say it one more time.